Welcome to the 17th tutorial on beginning CSS. Today we're going to look at the box model and this is where we really start to have some fun because you can really start to style your website using the CSS box model. Now what is the CSS box model? Well if you take a look at this diagram over here on the right there are four boxes. There's the content box, there is the padding box, there is the border box, and there is the margin box. And we're going to talk about each one of these in this video. Now the first box, of course, is the content box. And we've been using that, right? That's where everything goes and we put our text in there, um, images, videos, any content goes within the content box. And if we open up our web page here, you can see that this is in an actual box. All of this text in this paragraph element would be in a box. <laughs> Pretty simple. It's also important to note that every single element on our web page has these four boxes around it. Now these three are invisible unless we specify them. We haven't yet, but the padding is invisible, the border is invisible, and the margin is invisible because we haven't specified them yet. But they are there. They're just transparent. Think of it like that. But again, every single element will have four boxes around it. And the content is the one we're using right now. So now in order to see the content box, let's go ahead first and specify a background color. And we're going to go ahead and use a hexacode here. Um, it's E5E4D7. I actually like that color uh, for my content boxes. So let's go ahead and save this. And we'll open this up now. And there you can see everything that's inside that color, that color that we just specified is our content box. And yeah, it looks like kind of a box, doesn't it? Now you'll notice how close the text is to the edge of the content box. So in order to increase that and give that a little space to make it look a little bit better, let's go ahead and add some padding. So we're actually going to add the second box now. So let's close this out. And we do that with the padding property. You guessed it. And let's give that 20 pixels. Let's go ahead and save this. And let's open this up. And there you can see we've got more space now. Look at that. And that looks a little bit better in my opinion. Now let's add a border. So let's close this out again. And that will of course be the third box on this diagram. And to add a border there are three properties for that. And I actually already typed these out so I'm just going to copy and paste these in here. There is border hyphen color. And we're going to make that black. That's pretty obvious. The border width, which we're going to make 2px. And there's the border style, which we're going to make solid. And uh, in a future video, I'll actually go over um, all the different parameters and values we can use for the border. But for now, let's go ahead and save this. And let's open this up. And you can see we've got a black border. So we've got our content box right here. The padding, which is everything in between the content box and the border, and then we have the border. So we have all three boxes. Now you might be asking, what is the margin? The margin is this space right here. If you take a look on this left, that's the space between the side of the page and the border. Now you might be asking yourself, wait a minute, we didn't specify a margin, so how come there's some margin here? And the answer to that is that the browser automatically adds some margin between the elements. And so that's what the margin is. It's space between the elements and the space between the edge of the page and your border. And so we can actually play around with the margin sizes. And so we'll get to that in the next video.